whoa, whoa. So even if tomorrow we don't talk Right now, my want to take you home fast Cause girl, you make it hard for the night to go south So make me show action because me don't talk Much bigger said Hey my natural beauties, welcome back to my channel. To all my new subscribers, thank you guys so much for stopping by. Thanks for clicking on this video. To all my loyal subscribers who are always coming by, you guys know I love you so much. So thanks for watching this video today. So this video today I'm very excited about because it's going to be a bit different from the videos that I normally do. That is because I'm going to be using one brand on my entire face, alright? Now you guys know I love Milani. I'm a Milani promo girl, but I never did a video with just Milani products, you know, completely. So I'm going to show you guys how I achieved this natural looking beat you know very glow you guys see that glow you guys see that yeah Milani the thing is in you guys know I love natural beats that's my favorite kind of makeup look I like when it's beat but everybody doesn't have to know that you're wearing makeup that's what I like all right so that's what I'm gonna be demonstrating today it is going to be a talk through video so you guys are going to see all the details on the products that I use I'm also gonna be sharing my thoughts on the Milani conceal and perfect it's not completely new but I'm gonna be telling you guys how I feel about the product so it's gonna be kind of like a product review for this foundation but yeah guys stay tuned to see how I get my face on fleek using only Milani products and if you guys like videos like this thumbs up this video so that I know that you liked it and yeah let's just jump right into the tutorial all right all right guys so the first product I'm taking is my Milani brow tint pen this is the felt tip brow color in dark brown and I'm gonna use this to fill in my eyebrows So even if tomorrow we don't die Right now, we want to take your home fast Guys, girl, you make it I love how buildable this is um, Even though it gives a light application at first You can always go in and build it up to make it darker if you want So it's kind of not much different from a pencil Yeah, so I kind of like that And it really does give you a lot of precision when it comes down to your arch And the tip of the, the tail of the brow Yeah, so I think it's pretty precise. I really like it. I'm just going to brush out a little bit and then of course clean up with some concealer to make them neat because I have a lot of new growth underneath here that needs to be shaved but I haven't shaved it yet so I'm just going to use some concealer for a little bit of magic. So for concealer today, I'm using the Secret Cover Concealer, one of my favorite concealers of all time from Milani as well. The shade is in number three, which is Honey Meal. And I'm just going to use a concealer brush to clean up my eyebrows um, with this product. Yeah, you guys hear me rave about this time and time again. It's a very good concealer. And you guys know I'm not going to be doing an eyeshadow look so much But I'm just going to put some other concealer on my lids as well so even if tomorrow we don't die Right now we want to take your home fast Cause girl you make it hard for the night to go south so this video today is all about this foundation this is the milani conceal and perfect two in one and this is what i'm going to be using today as my foundation this shade is in golden toffee it's number 14 so i'm just going to apply that all over my face damp beauty blender of course So I've used this before and I told you guys that I love how lightweight it is. I really love the way this smells, number one. Um, I think the formula is very smooth. It's lightweight even though it is full coverage. 
Capri Alliance. Summer like Romeo and Juliet, minus the feelings. I got the sweetest touch. The cry as me leaves, I eat the sweetest touch. 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 The sweetest uh, that's one of the things that you guys should keep in mind. You don't need a lot because a little goes a very, very long way. So I'm just putting this back in the cap, guys. I ain't got no time to be wasting no foundation, even though it is so affordable. So I love the lightweight formula. Um, it definitely works very well with uh, my skin. I have dry skin. I can't really speak for persons with oily skin, but since it is a, what do you call it, like a dual type of formula, I think it will work best with everybody, honestly. So, as you guys can see, it has a reddish undertone, so that definitely indicates that it really is for women of color, at least this shade. So, as a highlight, no doubt, I'm gonna use my uh, Secret Cover Concealer, the same one that I use for my eyebrows. I'm just using my large blending brush from BH Cosmetics, and I'm going to use that to apply this for this um you know concealer <laughs> under my eyes but i'm gonna know so you guys know by now i bet you've watched like a million and one tutorials to see how to do makeup um but yeah so this is just what i'm going to do and then i think i'm going to go in and blend it out with the beauty blender after you guys see how thick this formula is i love it and then this is the perfect yellow undertone uh, highlight. Yeah, so I think that's awesome as well. So if you're my skin tone, this will definitely work for you. I like you. <laughs> and I'm kind of kinda cliche. But I'm feel like I'm a good wife, yeah. I just did the one dip guys, just the one dip in there and it's still carrying me through all of my highlights. Isn't that awesome? A little bit of this goes such a long way. So I'm alternating between the round end and the pointy end just to help me to blend it out a lot faster. Alright, so I don't have a cream contour product because the darkest concealer in this, which is number six, is not dark enough for me to contour with. So, what I'm going to do is just do a powder contour. Um, so, I'm just going to set my face before I go ahead and do that. So, to set the highlighted areas, I'm using this pressed powder from Milani called Medium Tan. It's their multitasker face powder. This one right here. And I'm just using my beauty blender onto that. It's a pressed powder. I, I don't like. I haven't seen a loose Milani powder. I don't know if they have any. I doubt it. But I've used this pressed powder to set my highlight before, and it worked amazing. So I'm just gonna do that today. I'm just going to dust away what's left with my fluffy powder brush. And then I'm going to set the rest of my face with ginger, which is number four. Uh, that's the regular pressed powder. Just like that. I'm just going to use a flat top brush to set everywhere else.
Then I'm going to use their pressed powder in Earth Glow to contour my face and that's a reddish brown color. I'm also going to place that into my crease since I won't really be doing like an eyeshadow type look. And I'm going to use this really cool brush that comes in the bronzer that I have. So it comes in a Milani bronzer. I'm just going to take that in there and just use that to kind of do some contouring. See how well the color pays off with this brush. The first time, the way our eyes made for me. I saw the way that you looked at me, and I knew one thing's for sure. Me did I wonder. Alright, so for eyes, I'm using the same powder that I used to set my highlight. I'm placing that all over my lid and also under my brow bone area. Since I won't be using any eyeshadows because I don't have any <laughs> Milani eyeshadows that much. Yeah. And this is a natural look, so I don't really need it anyway. I'm just going to show you guys how you can get the ultimate natural beads using Milani products, honey. Into the crease I'm using Earth Glow, the same one that I used to contour. Not too much of it, you know, just enough to kind of define the crease a little bit. I think that will do <laughs> all right so no eyeliner so uh, I'm gonna get ready to apply my lashes I'm gonna do that off camera so just to show you guys what I'm using today I'm using the um, Ardell soft touch lashes in 151 don't know if you guys can see that because this is hella bright but yeah these are what I'm using today yeah they're very natural looking I would say they have tapered tips ultra lightweight fibers blah 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 yeah so that's what I'm doing just gonna use these so I'm gonna put these on and then I'm gonna come back on camera and show you guys the rest of the face all right now that we have those lashes on I'm going to load up on mascara this is the runway lashes instant volume mascara by Milani I just bought this and I am in love with it already so I'm gonna put a lot of that on my lashes and a lot on my bottom lashes as well just for you guys to see you know how it really works and if it's good oh guys I didn't show me applying some of this before I put my lashes on I did do that so just to let you know am I the only one who likes to put um, mascara on my false lashes I don't know I just think it makes a huge difference I think this mascara is the ish because it has a really nice precise brush now pretty much any brush that any mascara that has a really nice precise brush wins me over really honestly doesn't even matter how the formula is if the formula is thick or runny but if the brush is precise you can make it work it has been me and you from the beginning to the end and zima me vex you cuss me vex you fuss no Guys, these lashes are so bomb. Oh my god, I'm in love. I am fixing something under my eyes. How that? Alright guys, so on to my favorite part of any look, natural or not natural. <laughs> It's highlighting or glowing up. I'm using two glows today. I'm using Copper Excess um, and Solil by Milani. Let me open them. 
Yeah, this is Copper Excess. It's a baked eyeshadow. You guys have seen me use this so many times. And this is a baked bronzer called Solio. So, these are the two I'm going to be using today. I think I'm going to use Solio first with a fan brush. Just because it's somewhat lighter than um, the other one. I hope you guys can see this right now. Alright, and then I'm gonna use copper excess now. Just because I feel like being very extra. Oh my god. I like the fact that Solil keeps it natural. Yeah, but I'm going a little bit overboard because I just love copper excess a lot. I think it is enough now. <laughs> Alright, so for my lip concoction today, I'm going to use three lip products. I honestly just took out the three that I think I would like using the most. A lipstick, a lip gloss, a lipstick and two lip glosses. So I'm going to go in with the lipstick first. This is a teddy bear, which is number 29, which is a nice nude lipstick from Milani. I'm not going to be using any liners today. So, you guys can see this color is barely there. It's a very nice nude for darker skin. Alright, so this is Teddy Bear B A R E, number 29 lipstick from Milani. I'm going over Teddy Bear with my favorite lip gloss, Mattia Facetis, guys. This is uh, Luminous from Milani as well. It's their number three lip gloss. Yeah, lip gloss. What am I saying? Yeah, lip gloss. I'm gonna put that on top of Teddy Bear. Yeah, I normally do more gloss than this, but just because I'm gonna go in with a third product, I think that's enough. Yeah, this is their Art Flash Full Coverage Shimmer Lip Gloss. And this shade is called Golden Flash, I believe. I think I'm gonna put this just in the center of my lips. Just, just, yeah. So yeah guys, this is it. Like the ultimate, ultimate natural beat. I think I need to slay some baby hairs or something, but for the most part, I'm gonna leave it be. But yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Guys, I'm so in love with these lashes right now. Oh my god. They're so cute. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Until next time, stay naturally beautiful. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Please and thank you. I would love if you guys would come on over and join my little family over here. Yeah. Question of the day. What is your favorite Milani product if you have any? And if you don't like Milani or you're not really fond of the brand, please tell me why in the comment section below. My favorite Milani product is Luminous Lip Gloss. I tell you guys over and over. So yeah, that's my favorite Milani product. So tell me yours down below in the comment section. Thanks guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big fat thumbs up. And also turn on your post notifications if you have not done so already. And I'll see you guys in my next video.